Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a little update that I feel I have to do it. Uh, I feel like somebody would be following me, and he did follow me around from the U.S. all the way to Ukraine, for which Black Lies Matters also knew the war is going to take place along all others that play their cards. Um, I feel this is bad luck. And... I feel I don't have to take this. Yes, I publish articles like this. Um, I am European. I am from Slovenia. I feel I am related to Ukrainian people. I do. I do. I always promoted Ukraine, promoted Poland, when compared to Russia, simply because of um, inequality Russians have promoted against uh, other Eastern Europeans. I'm just going to put it this way. I felt that it's my duty as a Slovenian, as somebody born in Slovenia, to support, and I do feel, people that we are related to more so those that live closer to my country, that are closer to European values, I'm talking about the democracy here, and foremost I'm talking about the rule of law. It's all about the rule of law, it's about respecting laws more than anything else more than human rights it's about respecting laws it shouldn't be about the human rights inside of the european union ladies and gentlemen it shouldn't be about human rights inside of the united states of america and in other words countries which claim to be part of the first world should not engage in my case, that's in crime. In other cases, I hear, you can call this whichever way you want. It appears that there are certain th things, uh, criminal, taking place against certain groups. However, one of those groups that took side against me, side for the sake of Vladimir Putin, for the sake of Russia, was in his Black Lives Matters. Yesterday, I did post it, a news about this gentleman here, and uh, it's every word I take, every word stated here, I take back in respect to him, in respect to the so-called Peace Corps. You see this lady, Hana. I take it back. I don't think that I personally need to be divided through the black crime, literally, against me. And they collected money, they collected cash, literally from the Germany, from the Great Britain, from the U.S. for the crime against me. But I don't think that I need to be divided between myself and Ukraine for the sake of black crime. I am not going to take it. I'm going to take a strong stand against this. I know that war in Ukraine is known as denazification war. And the main promoter of this denazification in the United States of America were the civil rights groups such as Black Lives Matter. Black people traveled to Belgrade, to Moscow, refused to have anything to do and with the Warsaw and with the Kiev and absolutely with absolutely anybody that would have a friendly stand against Eastern 
European, non-Russian, Eastern Europeans, or non, non, even non-Serbian Eastern Europeans. They took their stand, realizing their mistake about Vladimir Putin, took position against him sometimes in 99 when it became evident to them that Vladimir Putin actually sides with the Nazis that he is one of the main reasons for the problems for the coming war in Africa because they did not care about no other than Africa they pretty much cared about themselves talking about the Kamala Harris here talking about the Barack Obama talking about Rock Dwayne Johnson, talking about Mike Tyson. In this case, as you see here, talking about the another Michael, another Michael Jackson. His name was Michael Jordan. The man that you see here was sent to Ukraine due to amount of crime blacks performed against me in the United States of America in year 2003 and they did this for the cash you're talking about the world of sports people all the black sports people the crime became so intense so intensive that I'm not even sure whether it was on behalf of Germany on behalf of London because they got warning in 2003 that their crime against me have exceeded the limits of agreed abuse against me. And so you, what you see now, this guy, this black guy here that you see, knowing about the war coming in Ukraine, he found a way to Ukraine. Operations. No, I have to do this video about this guy. Tell me about it. This guy, I would meet him inside of Kiev in this church and I don't know whether this is in Kiev or not but they have a church if it's not if it's not if it's not in Kiev it could be that this is maybe even in Detroit or whatever and the Ukrainians travel to the US I don't know but it was a church like this something like this where he would meet me and after torture clearly evident they indicated they're going to send him to Ukraine he met me inside of the church and started to trash, trash shit against me in my face about my not being good on what I totally disregarded individual stood up for my human dignity for my rights against being hijacked, drugged up, tortured, beaten up, death threatened by his people, by him alone. And he turned into a racial slurs and all kinds of stuff. Then he started to fake that I abused the criminal. That he is hurt. And it paid him off. In Kiev, this man without being drugged up, got this lady whom I was falling for in Ukraine. She is Ukrainian. I was interested in her. She was interested in me. But it was blacks that cut in between, American blacks, cut in between MK Ultra, got into Ukraine because it appeared the Ukraine somehow was taking my side but because of black lives matters because of future denazification war against ukraine which blacks sponsored on american continent next to the people like donald trump next to republicans corrupt mitch mcconnell people like this this sweetheart instead landed in his bed went on with him but this was not the whole thing this lady here that you see 
one lady you see here. That was supposedly the lady that was interested in me. That lady, I have met her repeatedly in Kiev. That she was interested in me or whatever, then she went for another guy because I was not interested in her or whatever. She's Ukrainian. Anyway, it's true. There were the Ukrainian ladies I did not go for. I had my taste. And under no circumstances have I scrolled down. Am I going to go and allow? After being abused for 10 years, because it was in 2005, I think she find a way straight into this room here in Slovenia. It might have been even later this. Yeah, I think this was later. This was not 2005. Yeah, maybe it was 2005. Because she was skinny, beautiful. She's from Atlanta. Um, and I just didn't feel that... Being in a situation I was going through, and truly I was exceptional. It's going to be a female. I was not even attracted to. That is going to decide about my fate. As per, you're going to be my husband. I'm going to move in your house in Slovenia, Novo Mesto. That's how she came here. Inside of this room, inside of this house. It didn't sound right to me. I declined the invitation. And why would I not decline one? A nobody's had as many women as they wanted. I couldn't have whatever the hell I wanted. As a matter of fact, all the money they threw on a table because of which the blacks, American blacks, were throwing after me. was the thing to come, the thing, the birds on the roof. In reality, a lie, a big, fat German lie. All that British money, American money, German money, all that stuff. All that stuff was a fable. My being uh, surviving literally on savings, life savings, with the people like this jumping in my face through the torture, through the beatings, through the abuse, through the death threats, demanding to move inside of my house instead in Slovenia, was the unacceptable. She is a Peace Corps volunteer. Her name is Ahana. She gained a lot of weight because we met later. So from all that slim that she was, she gained a lot of weight and realized it would not be the potential match for me anymore. This here was uh, well planned, this stuff here. As I recall this, they told me it's going to be the case. They will do this stuff like this. They will do the stuff like this. He loves Ukraine more than community that he is from. Yes, a super fool. He probably has a Ukrainian woman over there. All that kind of stuff. Fool. Black person in the world. Look how they treated Africans. Uh, this actually was from the Yahoo where they claimed a peace corps, black police corps were discriminated against in Ukraine. They were treated like nobody, like a trash. To my knowledge, Ukrainian people, just like in Slovenia, 
I don't know why would they treat them like this. I have no idea why Ukrainian people would different than Slovenian or Polish or anybody else for that matter in Eastern Europe treat them in, in such fashion. But what I can recall is some of these people that were involved, they were telling me, we will do this stuff like this. We will post the comments like this. So they're going to accept him more. It's not going to be that it would be anything against him, but it's a crime organized, organized again by the Black Lies Matters. And I have to say, as much as I have a problem with the Germany, I do. I have a tremendous problem with the Germany. I will not allow Ukraine issue to divide me, to separate me, the so-called denazification war of Ukraine. I will not allow one. And now let me explain to you something. I'm not happy even in respect to Ukrainian government. I'm angry about Ukrainian government because Ukrainian government pushed in my face ladies I was not interested in so they could do the same thing like black lives matters like everyone else so they could get by but they probably did this maybe they did this I'm not even sure why they did this they did this be because of the same reason that this female maybe did. They feel like they have a females entitled just to walk like this all over and just it's going to be like this and this and that. Even if it's not the male taste and that's the way it's going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow, not Ukraine, not a black lies matters, not anyone for that matter, even for the cost of this thing here that you see, even for the cost of the German crime against Ukraine, against the Eastern Europe. I'm not going to allow absolutely anybody to get into my, what it should never, but it did, civil rights issues. I am never ever going to allow any of this stuff. This individual later, after causing me a lot of grief, a tremendous insults on behalf of Michael Jordan, on behalf of Lennox Lewis, on behalf of blacks, American blacks foremost, and in British, in Britain, who got the warning from the Germany alone, from Britain, to slow down in respect to abuse, because it was just, they, gone, they have gone too far with it. It became completely evident. I will not allow them to get by, absolutely in a single millimeter, even if you travel to the Ukraine to do whatever you want to do, on a front line, to whatever is it that you want to do. You are due to justice. You are due to crime court. You are due to laws. You don't respect the human rights. You don't respect the Constitution. You don't respect the laws. You're criminals. You're no fucking good. And you are due to justice like everybody else. You need to pay your dues to the justice. You need to be properly persecuted so that you will understand what law is, where the crime stops, is you're no fucking good as a people. I think actually you're the worst. I think you're worse than German Nazis.
I think you are the threat, the biggest threat this world has faced. The black extremism started to anger me. Nothing angers me more than when you try to be smart and find your way around through other human suffering, settle the matters that you should have never done. The matters that you know you have violated, that you caused crime, you caused me tremendous griefing, suffering, you ruined my life. You're not any better than those against whom you claim injustice. So every word I have stated about this individual here and about this woman here, I take back. I'm ashamed actually that I settled for some kind of denazification issue in respect to Ukraine. I should have known that denazification issue is going to be heavily abused by the people like this, that it was a campaign through which the people like this anticipated they will get through Ukraine, to Russia, through all over, and do the same shit all over Eastern Europe, all over Russia, and so on. I take it back. I take back every word. I am an American like you are. I am American just like you are. And the day is going to come where we're going to settle this justice the American way, with American police, with American courts, and it's the day when I'm going to get you by the throat. You are going to pay for the crime you did against me. Make no mistake. No such thing as denazification here. There's no such thing as Ukraine here. When it comes to my rights, when it comes to my right to be alive.